you know, here in California, Sacramento, so to come back to California and of course have my, my family out here means a lot, you know. I mean, they support me always, so to, to be able to, to perform in front of them has been, been amazing. And tell me, you're you know going to play with the United States men's national team. You have already, right? But this is a different Drake calendar, right? You just off the Leeds Cup. You're having the best part of your career right now. You have blonde hair. Tell me how you're walking <laughs> to this camp. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna try and be being consistent with my performances. You know, to show up every day, be a be a good teammate, uh, do what I need to do, say what say what I need to say. And, um, you know, exude this leadership at the, at the national team, and again, just play my role. You know, it's a huge honor to represent the USA, so um, getting a call up is, is great. So do you have any funny stories lined up for Pulisic or, or Weo when they ask you about Messi? I mean, not yet, but I'll think about it. Good. Yeah. Great, great. <laughs> yeah. Two-parter. Two, two uh, first of all, how does it feel to play in front of a crowd that, to many, is one of the hardest crowds to play against? Uh, you know, they have Bella as their superstar, but you guys have this up-and-coming player, you know, Argentina, and, but they were Messi. But did you feel the love from the stands, which is something you hardly ever see in this stadium? How do you, how do you feel to come here and play? The first half, the first half, yes. You know, there was a lot of pink jerseys on that side, but the second half was a little more, a little bit more difficult with their uh, their supporter section. But as part of the game, you know, you need, you need to be able to focus during. You know, both halves, whether you're on the away side or like the home side. So overall, I think it was a great atmosphere and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Any next one over here? 